The Carmen and Yurko podcast is brought to you by Vitacost.com. Vitacost.com is a trusted brand for all your discount vitamins, supplements, health foods, and beauty products. Use promo code CARMEN15 for 15% off your entire order at Vitacost.com. It's Carmen and Yurko. Sports talk while you're on the clock. Do I exaggerate? This is Chicago's home for sports. ESPN 1000. Crosstalk brought to you by Hawthorne Racecourse. Harness Racing is back at Hawthorne Racecourse. Betting action every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night under the lights. Details at HawthorneRacecourse.com. Thank you, Jesse, Danny, JR, Jeff, Hoodie, and I back 7 a.m. tomorrow. And Danny, I got to tell you, we'll get into it tomorrow. But my wife was out of town over the weekend. I had a few friends over Friday night. We were in the backyard watching the Northwestern game and eating some fine Carson's food. And my garage door opened. No, you didn't get invited, Merkin. And my garage door opened, and there was an upside-down pineapple in my driveway. I saw it on uh, Instagram. Big pineapple right there. How about that, Danny? I know who did it. My guess is Silverman, but... You would be incorrect. Then no, it was I, have, you. I have gates at the end of the street. It was not me. Come, me. Carm, you think I'm going all the no, way to Cap's house to put a pineapple upside down <laughs> his driveway? I, I got a so. life. Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. You know so, who it was for sure? 100%. The guy called in today and told me. Matt Nagy. No. No. Joe Madden. Joe Madden. Joe Madden. Joe's coming to t- I'm going to see Joe Madden next week. Actually, I'm going to see Shohei, but Joe will be in town. Joe will oh, yeah. be there. Along for the ride. Oh, yeah. Correct. I'll see you there. Go, are you go, are, I'm going Wednesday. Are you going to one of those games? Mm, I'm taking yes. the kids Wednesday. They want to see Shohei. Mm, Got to see what day. He's not yeah. pitching, but that's probably better because we'll see him battle a little bit more. Brett and I are going to that game as Wednesday? Well. I don't know which day. I got to look yeah, at we're my going Wednesday night. ticket list. But it'll be fun. Shohei, Shohei man. I got Shohei mania. Shohei Otani. I hope is Shohei plays. He'll play. He'll play. I mean, for years we've been going to see the Angels to see Trout. Now he's hurt, unfortunately, again. And Pujols. We want to go see, not Pujols. Never once like did I say, let's Pujols. go see Pujols. That was a I used to say it. St. Louis. I used to say Pujols. How about Pujols homering in St. Louis again? yesterday? Yeah, he did it when he was with the Angels, and they went there for interleague play a couple years ago. And yeah, that was a good story. It was cool to see yeah, Yadi Molina walk out in front of the play. Hang on a second. Yeah, give him his due. You let the man have an ovation here. That's and right. then he hits it out off Jay Happ. That was good. Right. That was cool. Then you want to plunk him. That, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for you to hit one out. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, man. it's football Carmen week. Carmen Yurko. Hey, 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 hey now, boy. You never know when boys. he's going to do Back that. Together scares again. me every time. He starts it's football season. I know. It is. You were saying it's football season. It's football it season. Is. It's game week. We it's were dissecting week. that today. Yes, it is. And we also looked back at last weekend. Hoodie's Georgia Bulldogs up to number it? two. Huh, Hoodie? Up to two. Yes. Uh, I wish we had some offense to match that well, defense. Well, listen. <laughs> baby steps, all right? You put the clamps on clubs oh, and baby. But that, that defense, Woo. Yerk, that's what you're looking for, right? You, I mean, tenacious. As if, tenacity. As, as if Georgia was reading Clemson's mail. They exactly. knew what was coming. <laughs> that's right. They had the well, playbook. Listen, Uwe Ungalale was just on his back over and over again. Yeah, that was smooth. Like seven times. Uh, sacked he seven didn't times. Look good. Pressured many more times than that. They only rushed for two yards because all the negative sack yardage. But uh, he give Georgia all the credit in the world. I mean, the offenses certainly weren't saying anything for themselves. No. But, you know, g- good for them. And you still got to beat Bama, so good luck. Well, good luck. At the end of the day, you've got to beat Alabama. I mean, Bama is. I mean, our, our next t- toughest game is Florida. Florida. It's always tough. Florida, yeah. Georgia is always course. tough. Yeah. Well, but it's if, the world's, world's largest cocktail party in Jayville. Right. But yeah. you're like, so I'm not the biggest JT Daniels fan, obviously. And I know that the offense is banged up for Georgia coming in. But just if you have a, some semblance of offense or, or run the football along with that defense, you give yourself a chance at least. If right? he can play the way he did last December, you guys are going to be great. By the Jets. With that defense. But but that and that's like, all you're looking for. Give yourself it. a chance. That's it. Can he get back to the way he played those last four games last year? I remember when Georgia stymied Alabama in the national championship game, all until the end when yeah. all of a sudden uh, they brought Tua Tyavaya Loga in, you know, instead of the other guy. There's no N in there. The He's not, I know what the Samoan people do. What? I know what the Polynesian people do, man. Here, they, pronounce their, they pronounce their vowels, man. 
And you, if there's no he, N in there, I don't care what he says. Yeah, Him and Pulisic can go get a room together. Classic right? Yurko. He said, no, he's pronouncing care. his name wrong. He's telling two he's pronouncing his name wrong. All I'm saying is Georgia held him down until the end of the game when all of a sudden they seemed like they could score at well. Yurko's so. work. He's, he's seen enough wrestling to know the Samoan names. That's he, right. He, he does, Jimmy Superfly. He snuck <laughs> off of Sika. This all started yeah. because of the guy that wrote the letter to Greeny. Uh, not to Greeny. The guy who wrote the letter to Schefter. And Schefter put it on his Instagram. He was ripping him. He was ripping Schefter and Field. I, I really like you guys, but uh, you suck because you don't know how to say to his name right. And, and tell that bleep hole Greeny I'd write him a letter too, but he's not worth it. He, oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. put it on Instagram. Wow. And Yurko goes, well, if you look at it, there is no one. But, but he pronounces it Tunga Vailoa. Yes. But Yurko said, no, nope, that's not right. There's no end. <laughs> it's not right. an end in the last name. There's no end in the world. I, I, I could pronounce my name Schwartz. <laughs> but it's spelled Yurkovich. But I, 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 I'm Johnny Schwartz, you guys. You agreed with the guy. Carmen <laughs> Schwartzy. Ba, 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 ba. That'd be so great. What's up, Schwartzy? Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you guys see the Alabama quarterback announced this morning? Bryce Young. Bryce Young, yeah. He has signed a deal with the Colin Cowherd Podcast Network, mm. and he will have a weekly show no for which he'll be compensated. Wow. The volume. The volume? Yeah. Wow. So Good the reason him. the reason why this is even a talking point is, you can you remember ever a time a college kid had his own radio show? Uh, no, right? I, I'm, and I'm trying to go back in the time uh, because everything was deemed illegal. Right, right. I, I couldn't referee intramural basketball games because the five dollars I was getting for the game was a theoretical inducement. It's a joke. It's an embarrassment, yeah. right? I mean, so no, on. I don't remember any of it. Now that this has all kind of been broken down. I think you're going to be seeing a lot of things you've never seen before. I love it. I mean, if Anthony Rizzo can come on with you guys and get paid, why can't Bryce Young go on with Colin Coward and get paid? Well, right? it's like the old, I mean, it's like the anything else. Like the old bar show is usually the head coach's show, right? Yeah, right. The Nick Saban show from sure. some, some local bar. Yeah, the, the Derek King show. That's it. Brought to you by. Live like, from uh, the. What? the 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 blue what's the the blue, what's the big famous uh, fountain blue fountain live blue. from the fountain blue the Derek King show crazy <laughs> kind of like crazy man it's supposed, great that's supposed to be a coach's show now players it. you can just roll in there and get a podcast their own that's show and there's a booster of Michigan crazy. State he's CEO of a mortgage company he was a walk on basketball player at MSU. he loves Izzo he just announced that every single player walk ons included on the football team and the men's basketball team every one. Has signed an NIL deal with him. There you go. And each guy and gal, or excuse me, each guy, football, men's basketball, get five hundred dollars a month. Wow, nice for their life. Sounds nice to me little. like a Title IX violation, oh, guys. Stipend, yeah, might he better spread it around a little bit? Doesn't he have to there go ahead and get the same amount of money that no, the female sports? Absolutely is not. Find the golf team. Nope. Well, why not spread it around though? You got deep pockets. Go find the best uh, female golfer at Michigan State. So, Yerk, for you, Holly Saunders. For, I'm only bringing it up because you know, I only I only bring it up because I remember them getting rid of men's swimming and wrestling programs just because they couldn't hand out that many scholarships. Right. Because football, they give out eighty. Did you say Eric? Did you say uh, Holly Saunders? Mm-hmm. Don't be Casillas. <laughs> I did not say Holly. I got what he did. There's no captain. I know. I did. <laughs> silly ass. I remember him. <laughs> silly ass. Yep. Don't be that. No, that's so, good. so you looked like that when I was. Yeah. You, in, in you're back in your day now. If you, there's nil for you, what are you? What are you sponsoring? I'm thinking maybe well, Republic Steel is one at the time. No, right? that could be. They're here on the south side. It would have been Verson. Verson All Versus Steel, Steel. On, <laughs> just off of 95th in Stony Island over there, about 93rd. Yeah. It had been versed in all steel. My dad worked there. Combustion engineering, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, How about Jay's? Co- no, it wouldn't have been Jay's, even though I loved the Okie Doke uh, Jay's cheese popcorn. Boy, mm-hmm. Jay's a classic. And the though. Mr. Cool three liter bottles of RC would have been absolutely fantastic for me. But Wranglers down there had oh. the Pikes Club. Uh-huh. So the Wranglers down there locally may have thrown me free Pikes Club sandwiches for the year. Nice. And I'd have been happy in blueberry donuts because they had yeah. delicious blueberry donuts there. Yeah. So Wranglers may have taken care of it. And I loved Monocle's Pizza back in the day. Monocle's Pizza. You can get oh, that a two was liter big of in pe- champagne, yeah. too. <laughs> two yeah. liter of Pepsi and a thin crust. And I'm talking about thin. ultra thin, cr- thin crust pizza for four ninety nine with the coupon. Oh, wow. $4.99. So I'm sure I, I may have been able to get something from them. See, is two he, shekels or three you for can. everybody. For everybody, right? Everybody. Nil yeah. for for your NIL be awesome. for everybody. <laughs> the problem was the program wouldn't be getting that money then, and then the program would not be happy. Mm. Especially at the non. Hold on, let me get this name right. Non championship football 
non-ball game, non-something series that they decided to name 1AA because 1AA was so easy to remember. And a 1AA was easy. Why did they have yeah. to mess with that? Now it's, it's the jerks. football chan- Now it's the FCS, the FCS. football FCS. championship. FBS and FCS. Right. right. Football Correct. bowl division and then the football yeah. championship subdivision. Yeah. Just idiotic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen. We I went to Easter. Nobody got paid. If you got paid, you got a coupon to get Big Mac, a Big Mac. Right. That was it. Yeah. The coupon that McDonald's gave to the team, and then you'd go to see Dana Chambers, the outside linebacker coach, and he'd say, "Here, that's when Al Moldy was on the staff. Good old Al. Here, uh, uh, only if you're good, we're going to give you a Big Mac." So you'd go down, you you'd race only down Fourth Street, you get there, and you'd be like, "Whoo, I made it! I need a Big Mac." Oh. And because they were handing out coupons on Mondays. The, the Big Macs were fresh. Only if you're good. Oh, I you know what I'm it. saying? Yeah. By the time you, yeah, only if you're good. Dana Chambers. That's awesome. See? The no, best. no payment at Eastern. How about Northern, yeah. Cap? We'll bring Big it over Macs. to you. What, Big t- Macs. How about uh, Northern? Go ahead. Yeah, what PJ Fleck get for. Uh... Well, I told Hoodie the story. I picked a kid up. His name is Bobby Russ from Skyline High School in Oakland, California. An old Black Panther, I remember he him. Fl- <laughs> That's right. He flies in. <laughs> it is 7,000 billion degrees below zero. <laughs> I'm waiting for him at the gate. He gets off. He's in shorts oh, and a God. T-shirt. Bobby Rush. And I'm like, uh, Bobby, this is not California. No. Do you have a jacket? I have some sweatpants. I don't have a jacket. Oh, my God. I said, dude, it's freezing cold. So I, I was making $4,200 a year. Oh, We went to the Burlington Coat Factory. Of course. And I said, pick out a hat, gloves, and a jacket. You're going to need it. Yeah. And I paid for it on my credit card. I said, I'll oh, figure it out. Legal? Back in the 70s, that was, it was not probably legal. $38. Well, yeah, you don't remember. You probably. It, this, was, it, this was 86. Okay, still. In 86, you get a nice coat of Burlington coat back. Oh, absolutely. So he did, And he signed. I said, you're coming? Yes. Was he a I good like player? Here. Yeah, he was a solid player. Yeah. Got his degree, the whole deal. Became I mean, a fine, it's not like it's became 90 a fine degrees congressman. in o- Oakland. Yeah. Became a congressman, yeah. Yeah. It's not like it's 90 degrees in Are you S- in Oakland. It's but it's 60 degrees in Oakland all year. I mean, it's not like you're coming here and it's uh, it's 10. I mean, that's a big difference. Well, it ends up getting into the 40s in Oakland. Come on and now. Not mu- you're maybe at night in the Not much, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. What's north of Oakland, Carm? The, the, north the of Napa, Napa Valley. Napa and Sonoma. Napa Valley, right? Sacramento. You know those, yeah. those colds, the, those grapes love cold. You know that, right? Well, not real cold. I mean, yeah, but they do like it cool, Carm. Yeah, forty-five to fifty-five is probably good. Nice right. rocky terrain. They love a yeah. rocky terrain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if they, if it's good enough for the grapes, it's good enough for people. Yeah, that's true. That's right. It also, remember gets that. hot. I've been in that valley in the summer. It's hot, man. I Oof. didn't mean to interrupt your Black Panther party. <laughs> All right, Forrest, my man. <laughs> oh, what an actor that is! Oh, what an actor! That is. Yeah. Well. Hoodie, well, I what? will see you in the morning. Have a wonderful rest of your you day. You too, guys. Are you going to celebrate your birthday the whole month like Yerk does? So I'll take, yes. take the month, baby. So Absolutely. Take, take, take the month. month. Happy birthday, Yerk. Thank you. Happy birthday to you, Johnny. Was, I saw that. Congratulations. Uh, and when you. was Friedel's birthday? Two days ago? Oh, He's cares? right around here. It was uh, Monday, I think, right? It was Friedel? Monday. Yeah. Yes. Happy birthday to Friedel, too. Yes. Have a wonderful show. All right, boys. Check us out, Yerk. Time to go. Game day tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Game day NFL starts tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. See ya. Hey, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. It's your buddy, your pal, Randy Merkin here. Add a little excitement to your sports watching experience by betting all the action on FanDuel Sportsbook. Listen. There's a reason FanDuel is America's number one sports book. They got all the odds and all the biggest sports and they make it simple and intuitive to place your bets. It's the place to go. For exciting bet types, it's the same game parlays on the NBA and Major League Baseball and daily offers and promotions. Don't forget the NFL starts tomorrow night. I like a Tom Brady touchdown and Tampa minus eight. And they believe that being the spread is hard enough, so unlike other sportsbook vandals will make you jump through hoops when you want to withdraw your winnings. If you haven't signed up, FanDuel is giving you $100 in free bets when you do sign up. No deposit required. FanDuel will also make your first real money wager risk-free up to $1,000. If you lose... You receive it back in site credit. In order to sign up, check out FanDuel's new sportsbook and racetrack in East St. Louis, formerly Fairmont Park. While you're there, bet, watch, and win on live horse race and sports from all over the world. Sign up now and then bet on FanDuel Sportsbook easily on your phone from the comfort of home. So just head on over to FanDuel Sportsbook and horse racing to get in on the action. Must be 21 plus and present in Illinois. Site credit is now withdrawal and expires in seven days after receipt. Ten dollar minimum deposit required to withdraw any winnings. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler. 
Stream ESPN 1000 anytime through the ESPN Chicago app. You're listening to, to, to Carmen and Yurko. This is Chicago's home for sports. ESPN 1000. All right, happy hump day. Yeah, hump day already. Short week, holiday weekend. In the rear view, it's game week. Kermit and Yurko, welcome in, everybody. Watch us and join the chat. Follow ESPN 1000 Chicago on Twitch.tv or download the Twitch app. We're live in the first Midwest Bank State Street Studios. Beautiful day. The sun is shining. Football starts tomorrow, Yurko. Pro football, anyway. College football uh, off and running, and we're happy about that. And now we're just a day away from the start of the 2021 NFL season, where the Buccaneers will hoist the banner. They will be about a seven, seven and a half point favorite against America's team, or so they tell me. The Dallas Cowboys tomorrow night. The White Sox win late last night in Oakland. I, I'll be honest, Rick, I did not make it up to the end of uh, that game. I, did you, by any chance, were you up with the White Sox late? You know what? I, I saw the uh, final inning. You know, I was kind of watching, falling asleep, watching, falling asleep. So I, I saw most of what was happening. And uh, the White Sox looked uh, comfortable. It's when Puck got in there that they just started taking advantage of the poor guy. They did, yeah. Yeah. Puck trying to refine it, trying to refine it all. Guy's got a 96 mile an hour slider. Boy, you'd think he'd be a little more dominant than that. When you miss, though, I guess uh, he reminds you of Chris Sale, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he uh, he does. He's got a little of that Sale motion in him. You know, he always yeah, he's has. He's got a little bit of that. Kid. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm with you. I like. I felt comfortable falling asleep. I'm like, I think they got this one. Even though Oakland's normally been torturous for them, I'm like, I feel pretty. Kimbrel was coming in, and I'm like, I, th- I think they're going to be okay. And yeah, I, I, listen, I, I think the White Sox are fine. I mean, you know, what do they got? Oakland here, they got the Red Sox. Who else they got? got the Red Sox and the Angels on the homestand this weekend and next yeah, week. Know. Boy, the Red Sox have I mean, They got a lot to play for. Oh, Anaheim doesn't. The Red Sox right. have right scuffled, though. Right, Carm? Right at the end of the Man, it's like... You, can't you see it? It's in the distance. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll be honest. Like, it, this, is, this gets to be a tough time of year if your baseball team is not in a, like, you know... If it's not a tight race, and it's not, it's it's, it's an eleven. What the magic number is fifteen? I mean, like I can't wait for it to be done. It's almost like on most nights I was like, okay, get it over with. Just let let's get it over. It's time for October. You know, soon enough. I know, soon enough. You're right. It's right around the corner for you, Carm. Like I don't want the days to go by too fast because this is weather wise. This is probably my favorite month of the year. September is always so nice. It's pleasant. It's not real hot. The humidity is usually gone. You just get nice 80 degree days with low humidity. I like, I like, I like more skies. October. Yeah, I like October too. You're I like right? when it dips into the 60s, kid. But it's like, I don't want him to go by too fast, but my God, I mean, you know, I am excited about next week. I'm going to go see the Angels one night, take my kids, go see Shohei. That'll be fun. But yeah, like, I don't know. I'm just too juiced up for football, and the Sox have nothing to play for right now. I can't wait for, for like, playoff baseball to start. You know, there's, there's not a lot to look forward to right now. Well, I mean, there is the NFL. Well, that's what I mean. I'm talking about baseball specifically. Yeah, you're right. I'm I'm all all football. Listen, when once the Cubs broke my heart with the 11 and they did the fire sale, and then they came back with a beautiful, was it a 12-game losing streak, Carm? Uh, It was 13, 13, wasn't it? Was it 13 or were they trying for 13? Maybe even 14. How random. No, they never made it to 14. Did they make it to 13? I I think it was 13, Baker's dozen. You were trying to tell me, you know how hard it is to lose 13 (laughs) games? Then you went and gave us the history of it all. It's impossible. It's impossible. Four times in, like, so long, such a long period of time. Of course, the great Baltimore Orioles decided to go ahead and give us one of those this year. Blow it out of the water. Thank you, Baltimore. Have they gotten above uh, 45 victories yet? Uh, no, uh, they're still I don't south think so. of that number. I, I think they're. Uh, they might be right around there. Let me check. They're right oh, what's Buck there. Showalter going to do? Yeah, here? you, My Buck. You wait. It's forty-four, Yurko. One more to forty-five. How about that? They're on a streak. Buck Showalter. Boy, these guys are playing well. What's going on? They're going to bring the, the ghost of Cal Ripken Jr. back. I think they're. Well, you don't need the ghost. You could just bring back Cal Ripken Jr. So. <laughs> Teach the little leaguers how to play the game a special way. <laughs> well, Merkin That's likes that about his Cubs. They're playing the game the right way. Yeah, yeah. Carm, I got I to gotta disclose a little something. Yeah, I go was ahead. getting text here at We're the 10 very, o'clock yeah, hour. I was a little distracted right now. I was a little bit distracted. Uh, They've got about two tree helicopters over Lake Central High School. they got 100 squad cars around there, state police, Lake County Sheriff's Office. They've got the local municipalities here in the Tritown area uh, checking out. Uh, don't know what we have, but there's a situation going on. I've already... Talked to my daughter Good. and texted my daughter, so she's, she's okay. up on the third floor. But uh, there is a uh, what we would call a mighty police presence. Yeah, 
And uh, without knowing what the details are, I shall not speculate as to what the details but, are. But uh, so. people can. But there is a police presence. Yeah. So yes. uh, hopefully that all. You know. It's in uh, beautiful what? palatial St. John, Indiana. I'm glad you were able to get, have a communication with your doctor. Yeah, a little communicate. Like, you know, yeah, makes yeah, you breathe yeah, a little I, easier. Yeah. I rue the phone sometimes. Yeah. I want to toss it against the wall sometimes. <laughs> right. But every blue moon, yeah. every blue moon, the phone comes in handy. Yeah. So. And this is one of those situations. Right. The ex-roommate's texting. So, you know, there's all types of things going on. Yeah, man. It's serious. I know. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Good luck. So if I'm a little distracted, I apologize. I hear you. you Believe know? me, I, we, we all were kind of thrown asunder by that right when we were yeah. getting going here coming out of the break. We were like, I wait a minute, what's buzz, happening? I could hear the buzz of electricity in the air, you know? Yeah. Felt like I was in Nam back in Saigon. You were never in Nam, though, so. I was there. Me and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Both like, of us were there. Like, <laughs> me and Eddie Murphy. Trading places, opening scene. Oh, I fan- what an actor that Betty Murphy. Uh, yeah, he, he he is something. So there. listen, hopefully everything's okay. Again, yeah. I don't speculate, so I'm not sitting here thinking about speculating. Just no, there's some stuff okay. on there's some stuff on Twitter anyway, and some new people can follow along. And yeah, uh, just uh, my, be mindful of that. If uh, yeah, Absolutely. in Northwest Indiana at Lake Central High School right now. Um, all right, we're going to talk to Todd Furman today. Uh, you know, Todd has been one of our favorite guests during the football season for I don't know how many years now. Um, he's big time, you know, he's got the bet the board podcast. He's all over Fox and everything else. And uh, he's one of our gambling experts today. We'll do a little, uh, big picture NFL stuff since the season starts tomorrow. We'll talk about a few futures bets that he likes, maybe doesn't like prospects for the bears, different things you can wager on when fields is going to start, when Nagy's going to get fired. Can't do a lot of that in Vegas, but Todd always has lines and, uh, stuff like that. So he will. Join us in about an hour live in Sin City. We're also going to talk to Chuck Garfine. He always joins us on Wednesdays to talk White Sox baseball. And we want to talk to Bears fans. I mean, it, it's it's football season. It it's feels here. like football. It's great. It's here. Um, and while we're all excited about football and the NFL being back, I feel like with Andy Dalton starting Sunday, I don't want to say that there's like a, like it, 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 there's a lukewarm response to the Bears being back, but I don't think it's got the same kind of punch it would have had they just announced, hey, the better quarterback's going to play, Justin Fields is going to play Sunday night. I mean, we'd be like, we'd be going nuts, right or wrong. I, I'm just telling you the way we'd all be reacting right now. We, we wouldn't be able to contain ourselves or calm ourselves, and I know on a national level, people, uh, you know, we're, we're a, we're a punchline. Right. I, I, the feeling I get is it's 50-50. 50% of the people, okay, oh. let Andy play. Let him go ahead and bear the brunt of this. He's a good enough player to, if they've got a quality team, he'll be able to lead them some victories and he won't bury us too quick. And 50% want Justin Fields to play. I think the Monday feeling of what's happening could be a little bit different depending upon how Andy Dalton plays. Andy Dalton can go out just fine and play and put up 24 points, and the defense craps the bed because we haven't seen anything out of them. They lose 27-24. 30-24, but you'd look at the offense and say, well, the offense was productive, and our defense didn't show up once again. So it just depends on how Andy Dalton plays to what it's going to feel like on Monday. So yeah. I've called for the upset. You know, first game, yeah. I'm calling for the upset. I think the Bears go on the road. They get back together, club dub. They have a good time. They'll find a way to go ahead and win this one only because it's the first game of the year. If this was the seventh game of the year, I think the Rams would be a, a, the, the favorite, which they are now. But I think they'd find a, a way to go ahead and win that one. You're too. calling for the outright upset. I, outright I, I upset. Like, Plus yeah, 280, Carmen. I think the Bears getting the points is probably an okay wager to make. Uh, I don't like betting the Bears a lot. I think uh, our hearts get a little bit too involved, right. even you know more than we might want to admit or more we, than we might think. But I, I don't think they're an awful bet getting uh, more than a touchdown, uh, which is the case in most places right now. Um, Yurko's calling for the outright upset, the live outright dog, victory the, money law, the Bears. money line upset, baby. Yep, that's plus, what I'm calling. Plus and you know how it is in survivor polls in week one. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you think you go, you take the team that's going to win automatically, and you end up crapping to bed the first week. You see uh, CBS Sports line. I don't know if it, I'm, I'm sure other people had drafts last night. I had my second draft last night. Thank God it, we, I, I dumped out of one of my leagues, so I only have two. Um, that's child's play for Meller, but I, I can't stand it. So uh, there was I was supposed to have my second draft last night, and CBS is site crash you guys hear that yeah I, i'm, I'm oh, assuming no that, yeah I we did not hear that so we're doing ours tonight i'm assuming oh uh, a lot of people probably ran into a similar problem last night you can let us know if you did 
drop something in the chat on Twitch or hit us up on Twitter. The whole site crashed. Well, yeah, you couldn't get in. You kept getting a like a 504 gateway timeout. You know, anytime you tried to go on the site or enter a draft room. Because I was running, so I was at Oliver's. Um, Oliver's. I was at Oliver's in Oak Forest. We had a great time there last night. And by the way, cheers to George, who runs the kitchen. George was so excited that we were out there. What did he uh, cook up? I, 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 I said, George, you better get back in the kitchen or the food's going to burn. You know, he was out having the chipping contest with us, having a blast, taking pictures. But, man, the food is great at Oliver's. It was great to be back there. They got a beautiful new patio. But I, I left at 8, and I got out of there pretty quick. I was telling everybody, I said, look, I got to get home. I got a fantasy draft at 8.30. And I'm on the road, and it says, oh, man, I'm going to be home at 8.40. So I called my, my best friend from high school, who's the commissioner of this league, and I said, hey, just call me when I'm on the clock. I said clock. And uh, you're one of those dudes, huh? Well, because I said, right, I, go, right. I go, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to be home by 8.30. I said, call me for the first pick. Just let me know what's happened, and I'll tell you. I'll be, it says I'm going to be home at 8.40. And he goes, dude, don't you know what's going on? I said, no. And he goes, CBS, the whole site's crashed. Oh, no. He can't. He goes, it looks like we're going to have to do it tomorrow. And so by the time I got home, tried getting on, couldn't. And by 9, mo- I, I'm assuming a lot of commissioners did this. They just scrapped it. And CBS was sending out, like, apologies to all the commissioners and I, so we're doing a draft tonight. Was that, was that your friend McGenty? What's, what's his McGenty. name? What's, what's your friend's name? My best friend from high school? Yeah. Is Chris Bogen? Oh, you're thinking of McCluskey. McCluskey. You're thinking. He's I in love, that league. McCluskey. I love McCluskey. Well, who doesn't love yeah. McCluskey? Yeah. Great guy. Yeah, he's in that league, too. All right, when we come back, I want to play some Tom Brady sound from Yurko. Yurko didn't react to this last late last week. He was gone. I want him as a former defensive player in the NFL to talk about it. An hour from now, we will talk to our man Todd Furman. Big picture NFL. Get your final futures bets in before the season starts tomorrow. We'll go over all of those with Todd Furman and Chuck Garfine. We'll talk White Sox with us in 30 minutes. We'll be right back. You're listening to Carmen and Yurko on Chicago's home for sports. ESPN 1000. Don't miss a minute of Carmen and Yurko. Tell your smart speaker to play ESPN 1000. Uh, lamenting the fact that CBS's site crashed last night, and uh, I think a lot of people had trouble completing their drafts. We moved ours until tonight, and then, I mean, as I'm telling these stories, I'm looking at my phone in the break, and I'm, I got a text chain with a bunch of these knuckleheads, and like they started the draft. You're going, like, guys, I'm, I'm on the air. I mean, does anyone have any consideration? How do you do that? How do you? I know you need I, to get it done. I, I, but I don't how do you know. just not inform so, everybody in your league that I, hey, or at least get the okay, hey, are you available to draft like, right now? So I look back and apparently this like I'm Auto trying draft to, for you, Carm. What'd you get? So this is at nine fifty seven. So this is as we're starting cross talk. Right before right? yeah, right before you're getting ready to go on, Carm. Like uh so the draft is tonight, right? Do these uh, uh, fellas know what you do for a living? I mean really. What are they doing? Uh, let's start the draft now. Let's. I don't know what they're doing, dude. But like the draft apparently looks like it has started. I don't know what they're. What's doing. What's your pick, Carm? Seven. So has it gotten to you yet? No, I'm up in three pick. But now it's paused. I don't know well, if they're it's paused with because me. the guy that needs yeah. to draft needs to be notified. Then he needs to log on. He needs to go in, and he makes needs to make a choice. What what pick is it on? What a disaster. It's what on. Pick is- it's on pick four right now. Well, well, pick four is the tough Kamara, Derrick Henry, you know. Well, this is a so keeper league. You take league. a chance on Saquon pick. Yeah, somebody might say Saquon's available. What a, it, it's a keeper good. league, year. So keeper some, league. Of the, some, some of the guys are has gone. Oh, yeah, like I got you, keeper league. That complicates matters. Yeah. Devontae might go here unless Devontae was kept, which I'm sure he was. McCaffrey, Henry. Oh, no, it looks like, uh, yeah, but this uh, my, uh, Kamara, Delvin. That looks like it was the first four. Delvin Cook? Yeah. I thought you said Frank Galvin. No, not Frank Galvin. No. Okay. All right, well, so maybe I'll, that, if it gets to me, if this thing ever starts, I'll ask Meller for uh, some for some. A uh, little update, guys. Suspect in custody. Yes, thank goodness. So we've got that going for us. So. Yeah, that's at Lake Central. We were talking about that. Suspect in custody. That is great to hear. Isn't that kind of a slap in the face to you, Carm, or doing this draft? Well, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I mean, a little, a little disrespect, right? Like, well, we well, you're we fine, Carm. You. Listen, if you need to make the pick, I think we can draft with you. Right. Why not it. involve the listeners? I, I told them. I said, listen, I, it's we'll not like I'm doing... We'll put two of them out there. We'll have the listeners call in. Then you make your choice what the listeners want. It's not like I'm in surgery here. We're doing a, a sports radio right. show. I go, go ahead, start the draft. I'll make a bit out of it. Well, you guys it can be help. interactive, Carm, with our listeners. I mean, think help. about it. Yeah, it's fine. It's that, live. Send a tweet out that everybody's going to help make your pick. I will say, though, that is brutal. I've done fantasy drafts online for 20 years now, probably. I've never been involved where my draft night was 
un- un- you know, Never the happened. draft room was unavailable because yeah. of the website. That is an absolute disaster for it's them. Like two guys are traveling tonight. That's why. That's what I was like, because plenty. Yeah. Of t- when you set the draft date, right? You know, if you're not, you know, uh, an elementary school student, chances are you have a busy life, and l- when you have ten to twelve people trying to get together. It's hard to find that date. All right, here here's the 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 decision, boys. I'm on the clock. I said right. clock. Um, I love doing the draft with you, Carmen. I'm so excited right now. I, I, I'm I'm in love with Najee Harris. Like I have a man crush already on him. I think he's a good bet to win. Not not a good Najee bet, Harris. but I, I like the odds on him to win Rookie of the Year. I know it's mostly a quarterback award. It's definitely quarterbacks only win MVP anymore. But I think offensive rookies of the year can be running backs. We've seen five or six of them in the last 15 years. Like. I, I, I'm in love with him. So it's who, who do I take, boys? Zeke, who I don't think I'm crazy I about. I, I wouldn't take Zeke. Mixon or Harris? I'm thinking Harris. Well, I'll take Harris. Uh, what do you of, think, Mel? Of all of them, Harris One sounds point sexy. PPR. Yeah, like Elliott's intriguing. I think he's the, like a little bit safer pick, but I'm with you. Najee he doesn't Harris. catch the ball. Well, yeah. that's not true. At, at last oh, year, that's he true, didn't, guys. Not as much last year. No, no, Yerkes right. I'm La- taking Najee. Last year, but Najee Harris in Pittsburgh, they used a first-round pick on him. Anytime the Steelers have a running back in the backfield who's the bell cow, he's a fantasy producer. Go back to Le'Veon Bell and even James Conner, who wasn't as talented as Najee Harris. He was a productive fantasy player. I got Peters, not Peters. What was his last name with a P? P. Willie Parker. Willie Parker. Willie Parker Parker was a bell cow for them. Fast Willie Parker. I did it. I took Najee Harris. So there you go. I'll let you guys know when it's uh, good play, Carm. Let's get some feedback Here. on that pick right now from everybody. <laughs> Instant feedback. What do you guys think of Najee Harris as the pick? 312-332-3776. I do have a Madden crush on him. I'm in love with him. Uh, by the way, it looks like I have the eighth pick, not the seventh pick. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Here's just Tom Brady, Erko. I want you to hear this. This is good stuff. Like, Brady's been in the league for 20 years. He's seen the evolution of some of the rules changes and, like, how – I mean, things are pretty dramatically different. He's been around that long. The guy came in the league when you were wrapping up for crying out loud, York. Listen to him talk about defense and how hard it is to play. This is a quarterback, the star quarterback of the NFL, talking about defense and how hard it is to play in the NFL today. I think the one thing about football that's changed over the years, which I think is really hard for someone like me who's played a long time to watch, is like there it's not being taught the right way. Like a quarterback should only throw the ball to certain places because your receiver is in danger of getting hit. For example, when I used to play against Ray Lewis, mm-hmm. I wouldn't throw the ball to the middle of the field because he would he he go after you and he would hit like and we didn't always have the biggest receivers but he would hit him and knock him out of the game mm. and now any every hard hit is a penalty on the defense so I feel like they penalize defensive players for offensive mistakes mm. so like if a quarterback I was watching the Chicago Bear game <laughs> the quarter the quarterback like- messes up doesn't see the blitzer. And, or the line screws up. I don't know what happened. But the quarterback or the line on offense, the defensive player comes in and hits him hard, and they throw a flag on the defense. So they've almost moved the protection of your opponent to you as opposed to where it should be, which is on yourself. Like if you're a quarterback, you got to protect yourself and your players. It shouldn't be the responsibility of your opponent to protect you. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a real – It's it creates really bad habits for players because – you feel like I can basically do anything. I could run and not slide. I can throw the, my receiver into any coverage and not have any repercussion for it. The only thing they're going to do is they're actually going to blame the defensive player mm-hmm. for making a good, solid hit, and now the defensive player is going to feel like, oh, I can't do that, mm-hmm. even though I feel like it was an offensive mistake. So in the end, I think it's a really disservice oh God, to the sport because yeah. the sport isn't being played at a high level mm-hmm. like I, I believe that it once was. It actually deteriorates because you're not teaching the players – the reasons and the fundamentals of what the sport should be. What do you think of that, Yerk? Well, I, I, I think he's right. And, you know, when he talked about the Bears game, yeah. you know, specifically, and, you know, the guy got punished for coming off the corner and ended up hitting the guy. In the, well, you've got to be careful. You know that as a guy coming unencumbered off the corner, that whatever you do, you can't put a helmet on the quarterback, even if it's in the right place. Mm-hmm. They'll say your crown was down even though you're hitting with your face because when the guy goes horizontal, it looks like your crown is down. Uh, who made the mistake? It was the quarterback that made the mistake because he didn't change the, the way, the direction that the line was going. You would know if he adjusts, he sends the running back to the left side from the right, and then he's going to send the slide into the blitz. Okay, mm-hmm. So when he didn't send the running back over, that was your crystal clear sign that, hey, they're sliding away from the running back, and it's three guys blocking three and the other three blocking those three, even if there's no blitzers coming. If you'd have done the math, 
you would have seen there's no way in hell they can get three on that left side, and he should have sent the running back over and sent the slide to the right. Or he had to recognize, okay, I'm going to let the slide go to the left, and then I'm, if this guy yeah. comes off the corner, I've got to go real quick right, right now yeah. to, to the guy that's out there. And he's in a shotgun formation. He should be able to see that. But it, it, it is difficult, and a quarterback has to be cognizant of you know, where are your threats out there. If I'm playing Deion Sanders, guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not making a living going after Deion Throwing, throwing at Deion? <laughs> I'm not going to. And if Deion's going to play one spot and he's not going to cover a specific receiver, I'm sending my, my fourth receiver out there. You know, I'm sending the guy I don't want to throw the ball to out uh, to occupy Dion because I'm not going to be going that direction anyway. If I, if I throw, I'm going to throw underneath or I'm going to throw in the middle of the field where he can't affect the ball. That, that's just, you know, being intelligent. But it is, you know, you can't do this on defense. You can't do that on defense. You can't grab a guy after five yards. You can't accidentally bump a guy. But, but that's the way the NFL has thrived and survived over the course of time. This is an offensive league. It is. Nobody wants to see three nothing taffy pulls. Nobody the only wants time to see. A three, do you know when a three nothing taffy pull taffy pulls fun? When it's in Tampa and there's a deluge and there's water all over the place Maybe. and you see guys slipping and sliding. Maybe yeah. When there's a snowstorm yeah. in Denver, right, the, right, and yeah. they're trying to run through seven inches of snow. I'll give you that. Yeah. That's when it's fun. Nobody, oh, it, look it, at the elements. It, oh, they're playing in the elements. No, oh, the elements. Nobody wants to watch Penn State Wisconsin. No, but that, that, that oh first my half, I mean, on Saturday. What was, was the rating for that game? <laughs> One million people. Well, it was like two million started watching. By the end of it, 500,000 were left. And I'll give Gus Johnson credit. Like, he was trying. You know, yeah. oh, the, it's halftime. It's 0-0 zero, zero in a college football game. And he's Big Ten football. Big Ten football, my ass. That's brutal. Big Ten football. If that's what you're looking for on a Saturday afternoon, 0-0 zero, zero at the half, Go, go back to 1944. I don't know what to tell you. They, I mean, brutal. Mark, your guy Graham Mertz, boy, he better play Lovey again real soon. Too bad Lovey's in the NFL right now. Yeah, he, he missed a lot of throws. Oh, and he fumbled the ball like oh. twice inside the five-yard good line. Good Lord in heaven. And, yeah, it was, it was not a good... And then, time Jack Cohn throwing four touchdowns. Right. He's throwing dimes. <laughs> Well, we, I mean, we, we, gave you, we gave your Badgers a rough ride yesterday, Murphy. You weren't here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. They, made, they deserved they're, it. They're, they're, they're in Camp Randall right now going, damn, we had to play Lovey last year in that first game. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They Graham Mertz look at and, they, and they've got uh, they've Jeez. got a crap team this week, and then they've I mean not the team they should beat this week. Then they've got Notre Dame, so he's got two weeks to now think about yeah. that game against a guy Ooh, who Jack Cohen's going to be fired up. Yeah. Buddy. That's the no, that's the game here at yeah. Soldier. Yep. All right, three one two three three two three seven seven six. If you want to jump in, I'm up in three picks again, guys. We'll see how this goes with uh, selection number two. Plus, Matt Nagy confirms something that some of us were slightly worried about. We'll explain that coming up next. This hour of the show is brought to you by Twin Peaks, the ultimate sports lodge. Oh, it's a great place now that football's back. And happy hour is back. Get Twin Peaks Monday through Friday, all week, 2 to 7, and score sweet deals like a dollar off all wine, liquor, cheap shots, and freezing cold 29-degree draft brews. This is Carmen and Yurko. Follow us on the gram at Carmen and Yurko and at ESPN underscore Chicago. This is Chicago's home for sports. ESPN 1000. Uh, Yurko, I'm telling you, this is silliness now. We got the CBS sports line problem last night is leading people to do their drafts in the middle of the day while they're at work. I mean, doing a live radio show here. But the draft's been paused for like... Eight minutes. I go, guys. What, I'm not, what are we doing here? Oh, some Pal- guys in the middle of yeah, a corporate it, meeting that, right now. Exactly. So my com- the commissioner goes, Palak's on a work call. We're waiting. I'm like, well, tough. I'm doing a live radio show here. I'm, I'm following Carmen, along. Carmen, these are real meetings that are happening right oh, now. They're probably some live guy radio in a corporate Bob. meeting, wondering if they're going to mandate the vaccine. Yeah, those are real life issues, and you're worried about whether you're going to get DeAndre Hopkins or not. I- I'm worried. That should I be- do I go? Yeah, Kelsey. you're right. Do, do I do I go get to Hopkins? Do I go Hopkins or or Calvin Ridley to pair with Justin Jefferson, one of my keepers, or do I go another running back? I'd go with Weller. 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 Waller. He yeah, means oh, Darren Waller. Is JT That's still my on the board? Waller. I speak Yerko fluently. That's right. You know what I'm talking about. I got bourbon on my mind, and I got a, a one hell of a tight end <laughs> he said for the Weller. Vegas. I'm like, that's bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> Weller. I call him so, Weller. So now we're paused. I'm like, well, he's on a work call. I mean, can he just look real quick? Is JT on the board still? JT. Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor? Um, oh, Let me see. He probably was taken. 
Jonathan Taylor's off the board. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he gone, somebody might have kept Jonathan Taylor's, my guess, because he would have been a later pick, and somebody probably, you know, sacrificed. Uh, he was probably, a, I don't know, what was he, an eighth, tenth round pick last year, probably, Melvin? No, nah, probably fifth or sixth. Fifth in, or sixth? In, in a competitive league. Okay, and so somebody would sacrifice the third round pick this year for Jonathan Taylor. I'm assuming he was a keeper in this league. Stupid fantasy. Uh, so <laughs> nobody has more disdain for playing nobody. fantasy football than nobody. Carmen DeFalco. Win or lose, I mean, like I win. Play. I won a league uh, not last year, two years ago. I won my leagues. I was a runner up in one of my leagues last year. Um, sometimes I'm no good, but like win or lose, I hate fantasy football. And I why just, do you play? I, I don't know. That's a good question. I I think for all these years I've sort of played because I felt like it was kind of important for work. But I'm wondering Isn't there if there's some it really sort of camaraderie. Is. Yeah, but York, we don't even. I mean. Like, we don't even get together for the draft That's show. Sure. Everybody's the, uh, got kids and online, families. The and online draft room has killed the camaraderie of fantasy football. Well, no, no, not all not all fantasies, fantasy leagues. My league met on yeah, Labor Day the, at 5 o'clock. I will say the nice thing at, at your age group is, and maybe we'll circle back to this in 10 years and it'll be fun oh. again where guys can get back together. But you remember it was like when the boys had hockey every night. Yeah. And you couldn't, like, everybody couldn't get together because the kid, you can't do it. The, the the twelve guys in this league range in age from twelve uh, to from uh, thirty to fifty four. Are there a lot of, so, a lot of guys with kids? So I mean, there was kids? a little bit of a lambasticity just there because I'm an old decrepit fool. <laughs> that all of a sudden I've got all the time in the world to go ahead and just participate in fantasy drafts. Are there now? I have cut my fantasy drafts. Jake runs the league that I'm in with the, at the station. Yeah, my my Jacob runs that league. I've got only two other leagues. I optioned uh, one league into the garbage because of the guy that runs it. Turned into an absolute lunatic. Uh, I know about this one. Yeah, yeah so he was yeah. optioned off the AAA Buffalo, and uh, I just I'm playing in two leagues. I'm playing the least amount of leagues ever. Good. And still, the two of them met to get together. Right. The team I left, they decided to hide in their basements last year because they're afraid of the, the weather. <laughs> that's so, what it was. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> oh, it. Thank yeah, you. So funny. Thank you, um, Jeff. But it wasn't our league, so don't worry about it. I'm not indicting anybody that I work with. Do you remember last week? At one point, we we wondered. We're like, what if? Andy Dalton were to get hurt, and they bring in Nick Foles. Remember, we were like, what, could Nick Foles possibly be the backup on Sunday night? Remember that? And I'm like, there's no way. Luckily, Matt Nagy confirmed to Albert Brewer over the weekend that there's no way. Justin Fields is the backup, Yurko. So, okay, we wonderful. got that going for us. I, uh, do you guys expect the Justin Fields package at some point? I asked Yurko this yesterday. I right? imagine I he'll Yurko, have his package with him. He'll have his package sure. with him. I said, Yurko, yeah. if I set the over-under at three and a half... For, you know, plays that they bring in, just, you know, for which Justin Fields comes in and plays. Yurko said under, and I, and I agree with him. I, I think it's under that. I do. Yeah, if they, I, if they have their druthers, they're going to stay away this first game. They're going to let him watch. Yeah. They're uh, just going to let him watch so he could see it in full time. What you see in the preseason is not what you see in the regular season, and it kicks up such a notch from what they're doing. They're almost in cruise control sometimes. Yeah. It doesn't seem that way, but they are. Bears thoughts? Fantasy football angst, and if you're drafting today because of the site crash last night on CBS Sports, and Chuck Garfine talking White Sox. That's all coming up when we return in just two short minutes.